Hi there, folks. This is Luke Charles Kuhn at Kuhn Truck and RV, or Class B and B Plus RV Specialists. My friends call me Luke and my sisters call me Charlie, but you can call me anytime at 440 Ohio RVs. My brother Levi or I would be happy to help you. Please check out our website at truckandrv.com. Again, that's truckandrv.com to view all of our inventory. There's a direct link to this particular RV in the video description below. If you follow that link, it will take you to our website where you can see the pricing and information on this unit. Once this unit is sold, that link will be removed. We are a full-service dealer offering warranty as well as financing packages. If you have any questions, please give us a call at 440-OHIO-RVs. Again, that's 440-OHIO-RVS. For sale today, we have a 2008 Road Trek 190 Versatile with only 52,800 miles. Alrighty, folks, here we are inside of this 2008 Road Trek 190 Versatile. As usual, I'm going to start in the front, work my way towards the rear. I'm going to do my best to give you a good idea of the overall floor plan as well as the overall condition of this unit. Here at Coon Truck and RV, we are proud to be a family-owned and operated dealership since 1976, started by Levi and I's mom and dad. Today, Levi and I are in charge of the main operations. Our brother-in-law, Greg, is in charge of the shop. All of these RVs go through the same inspection process before they hit the web, go through a full demo with you at the time of sale, Answer any questions you have. Make sure you're comfortable with your new rig. If you're wondering about the differences between the Road Trek 190 Popular and 190 Versatile, we do have a comparison video for that. I'm going to go ahead and drop a link in the video description as well as on the screen here. That way you can check that out. Without any further ado, we're going to get rolling on this one. We've got about 73 inches of headroom in the center part of the coach. About 70 inches here where it's raised up outside of the basin. Got a fire extinguisher down here propane furnace. We do have seven seat belts on this unit. So you got your four chairs up front here with the seat belts. We've got three belts on the rear sofa. So this is a great unit if you're looking to haul some people. Nice, easily accessible entryway. Got a little storage pocket. These black things you're seeing on the walls here and there are cup holders. The window that opens here, a curtain you can pull across for privacy. You can unsnap this curtain if you'd like to be able to get some light through that window. These speakers you're gonna see throughout the coach are controlled via this controller over here. So we'll get a little closer look at that in a little bit, but these are speakers that are connected to the tuner on that and also to the TV. We've got an inverter here. The inverter runs the TV in the back. So the purpose of that, if you turn that inverter on, you'll be able to watch the TV off of the DC power. So you can use your coach battery to be able to watch your TV. Get your porch light switch, fuse panel. Start stop for the Onan 2800 generator. That has a fresh service, fresh oil change by our certified Onan techs. That has 171 hours. It runs off the fuel tank. Stop running around a quarter tank. Water heater on off. That lights itself. Levels test for your propane, your holding tanks, and your coach battery. Water pump on off switch. Coach battery disconnect. It disconnects the coach battery to prevent parasitic draw. We'll also disconnect the charging systems, which are the shore power plug-in, the alternator while you drive, and the generator. A little blemish there. Doesn't really actually not look like a blemish. It's more of like a knot in the wood, but just a little spot there. Get your smoke detector on the right. Get your microwave plugged into that outlet. standard microwave that runs off of the shore power plug-in or the generator only got a 110 power here so you can put your coffee pot or anything you like there got corian countertops single basin stainless sink got a two burner propane cooktop this window does not open but it has that curtain there of your water heater there. Got a three-way Dometic fridge freezer. Got your freezer up top. This is a three-way, meaning it runs on AC, so your shore power plug-in or your generator. DC, meaning the coach battery or propane gas. You control that via the control on the front there. There are directions in the bottom of the box if you need help with that. Flip over towards the passenger side now. About that, our gimbal is acting up a little bit today. Here on the passenger side of the coach, we have the restroom area. 
Got a privacy flip out here. There's a mirror behind that. Got the fantastic fan here in the center of the coach. This will act like your exhaust fan while you're showering. You'll pur pull the shower curtain around this track. You'll stand in the center and turn this on and the moist air will go out of the ceiling. This runs on your coach battery. This can also act as an attic fan at night or anytime really. Open up the windows, turn this on, it will bring the cool outside air in. The water drains into this trench here. Having this trench helps prevent the water from getting up front. That's made to do so if that were to happen. Got a table there, table leg. <clears throat> this board is to fill in the blank to make up the big bed in the back. Hang your coats there. Plug in there. Control for the rear speakers here. Some TV remotes. This is the controller for the speakers throughout the unit. You can select the tuner, listen to the radio. That will also hook up to the TV to play your sound from the TV through the surround sound speakers. Plug in back there. Got your Coolcat AC and heat pump. This is an air conditioner that runs off of 110 power. So that's your plug-in or your generator. Also has a heat pump. The heat pump will work down to around 40 or 50 degrees outside temperature. Below that, you will have to use the propane furnace. That gives you an option to have electric heat. Got your manuals in the bag there. Nice big storage base here. The rear windows do not open. Got curtains to close those for privacy. Got curtains on the side windows. Those do open on the lower portion with screens. So you got the two lower windows on the sides. This is a power sofa. So you're going to push this button over here. It will run the sofa down and you'll be able to make that into your bed. While we're here, I'm gonna to touch on this. This is your thermostat that controls the AC overhead, the propane furnace and the heat pump. A noxious gas detector here. But back to the bed, push the button, run the bed down. I'm gonna drop some pictures now with some measurements so you can see what that looks like. One person can sleep in the rear without putting the couch down. That sleeping area measures approximately 21 inches front to back and 72 inches side to side. If you make up the big bed in the back, it will measure approximately 52 inches front to back and 72 inches side to side. Here we are sitting at the rear of the RV. When I get into work, I immediately hide. They say good employees are hard to find. Got your TV antenna here that cranks up and down. You do not want to have that up while you're driving. Got a little bit of discoloration on the carpet here, just a little bit of normal wear. This has been thoroughly cleaned. It's common to see that on the road treks on this little lip here and also on the lip here in the back. Got a table here, 110 outlet. storage railings up top these are speakers up front you're seeing all in all a nice coach here gone through our full inspection process it's ready to hit the highway minimal blemishes it's not perfect no rv is it's something i'm confident you can have lots and lots of fun in i'm gonna call this one an eight and a half to a nine I don't know how much you want to knock it for certain cosmetic things, but all in all, a very clean unit that I think you'd be happy with. Check it out at truckandrv.com. Coon Truck and RV, the best little RV dealer around since 1976 and home of the RV brothers. Up here in the cabin area, we've got power windows, power locks, power mirrors, tilt, cruise, CD player. Nice clean upholstery. Shows a little bit of cracking from UV and just general age you sometimes see on these vinyl leather type seats. A little glove box there. Not noticing any signs of smoking, no burn marks, funny smells. The cigarette lighter is unused. Got this privacy curtain that pulls all the way around the front. So you can take and run this curtain around the front to give you privacy. Both of these chairs do swivel. So you can swivel these around and they can make small beds when connected to these. 
There are pictures of different examples of these in our Road Trek 190 popular versus versatile video. So check that out and you can see what these beds look like made up up front. Alrighty folks, we're gonna go around the outside of this 2008 Road Trek 190 versatile. This RV measures 20 and a half feet bumper to bumper. It has an 11 foot manual awning. It has four brand new tires. This Road Trek is built on a Chevy 3500 express van chassis as a six liter V8 engine with 52,800 miles. Got good shine on this unit. Do have some boo-boos here and there like that. Small little blemishes on the stripes. Not something you're gonna see when the RV is driving by. Got your porch light. Coach battery. Got a tow package. The propane tank is located behind this little uh, plastic door there. You pop this pin out, lower the tire here so you can access the rear through both doors. Got the air conditioner coming out the back. Got your awning center rafter and crank there. We've got the fill for the winter tank. So there are two tanks in this. This is a smaller tank that's located inside of the RV for colder weather camping. We will help answer more questions about that at the time of sale. Got the fuel fill for the engine and the generator. Generator exhaust. Back of the water heater. Back of the refrigerator. The furnace exhaust. Got your outside shower here. It's convenient if you're at the beach, at the trail, got kids, pets, things like that. You can keep your messes outside. Got your city water coming in here. Shore power cord. Got some storage here with a light. We have a macerator pump on this one, so it's gonna grind everything up and pump it out of this tube. You still pull your gray and your black. You do the black first, pump everything out, pull the gray, pump that out, and that will flush everything clean. This red button here is what activates the macerator pump. This is the fill for the main freshwater tank. A couple little scratches on this door. A little scratch down here. Few little blemishes you'd expect, but all in all, a very good looking unit.